Boys and girls, we are going to start today with a math dash, okay, a Rick and Meany math dash. So as you know, Penny Peck Elementary School teacher Jessica Flack prepared her class for a math exercise she adopted from workshops she attended throughout the school year. First we did the math dash, um, and that's really just to help them make some growth in uh, like visualizing and fluency with different things. Are you ready? Yes! yes! All right, on your mark. Get set, go. We did the fractions today, which you saw, but we have some with addition, with multiplication, with extended facts. Um, and they love it because it's timed and they get so excited for it. And they all make growth because we go over the answers, so it's highly successful. Jessica, along with other Happer Horsham School District teachers, acquired this technique from Dr. Paul Riccamini, who conducted a three-day workshop on his techniques to teaching math. Math has become a major challenge, not just here in, in Pennsylvania, but across the United States, and teachers are looking for strategies, techniques, practices that they can use to facilitate learning of the struggling students. So we are doing a three-day mini math PD series where we are focusing on various techniques to, uh, in specific areas to help students. The workshops focus on better techniques in student retention, instructional scaffolding, language and mathematics, homework strategies, and more. And so this, this professional development series is really trying to give teachers strategies, but also help them understand why these strategies are effective and for what content they can be used, as well as to support the implementation. Dr. Rick Omini's workshops came as part of a grant to help raise math scores throughout the school district. Hollowell Principal Steve Glaze explains the need for this grant. Good instruction comes from knowing the standards and being able to implement to the degree and rigor that the state is now requiring us to, and so we need to look at our teaching practice. And so what Dr. Riccomini is going to be doing and what he has done and what he'll continue to do is talk to teachers not just about the materials that are in front of them, but how do they make it come alive for students. Do you love one minute facts too? I know you do. Students in Jessica Flack's class are having fun with one of Dr. Riccomini's techniques. Their progress is charted and used as a motivational tool for improved performance. These are the addition ones from the beginning of the school year because they start with addition. Um, so this is how they did on their addition ones. And they graphed these and brought them home and cheered for them. And then now we're on to multiplication and then one person has division. Cool! I got 23. Whoa! I have more data on these kids than I ever have in the past. So it's, it's really good to bring that to light. And I can like pinpoint exactly where each child is struggling or areas that they need to be pushed higher. And I can address that because of all these different Riccamini strategies that were put into place. So, so that's great. They get so proud of themselves when they do beat their score. So it's great for me, for them, for their parents, for other teachers to see how much growth they've made and how excited they are for it. I get a lot from it, they get a lot from it, but they don't even realize, they don't even realize that because they're just having a, a grand old time. Yay, we're community.